A video a day keeps the doctor away. A video a month, you get raped by Donald Trump! Hillary, why didn't you win the election? Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael73, and uh, yes, I know Oscar the Second still has my channel, but. I just want to make this video in all seriousness, alright? So you've probably seen from the title, just where the freak are all of my videos? You see, every now and then I keep on getting inactive, just... What the freak, am I okay, man? <laughs> so let me tell you everything that happened, alright? So it's gonna be a really long explanation, guys, so I recommend you guys go take a piss before watching this video. And don't forget to flush it. So it all started with this. I was playing Grand Theft Auto 5 on my computer. I was murdering a crap ton of people and then my computer started to bug out a bit and eventually got the blue screen of death. Anyways, good freaking lord. I wonder how many people actually got full from me. My computer bugged out and got a blue screen of death and when I try to boot it back on, it displays a message. Something that says about memory management or some other bullcrap. I know, I don't pay attention to error messages. I don't care if my computer dies. Actually, I do. You guys, j just saying, alright? I, I, I do care about my computer. Don't stick a USB killer up the computer's USB port, please. It doesn't give my computer orgasms. But anyway, so what it said was some memory management bullcrap. I didn't read through the whole thing, but one of the lines said that my third slot of my RAM was damaged, and that was what caused my computer to bug out in the first place. So I went ahead and opened my computer and plugged that out, and my computer was working just fine again. I even got the RAM chip extracted out here, as you can see. It doesn't look damaged, it's fine, but I mean, look guys, it's a really advanced piece of technology. Pretty sure something must have broken without any physical damage. And here is a picture of what it looks like inside my computer right now. As you can see, one of the RAM slots is missing. And this is what it looked like before. Let me zoom it in. Now, if you watch my Alienware unboxing video until like the 10 minute point, which none of you guys would have watched because I get bullied and I get harassed by Sir Grin. No, of course I wouldn't say out his name. I'll really get harassed if I do. But what you basically see is that I have four 8GB RAM slots, which means since one of them is gone, I am left with three. Did I explain that before? A freaking repetitious I really need to get serious. I mean, come on, I said at the beginning of this video, this is a serious video. I have no idea what's wrong with me today. Just send me to the Dr. Phil show. But anyways, I'm left with three 8GB RAM slots, which leaves me with 24 gigabytes and and if you looked at my order receipt it, i actually ordered 32 gigabytes some of you didn't believe that here's proof now i know what you guys are thinking all right it's only an eight gigabyte difference did you seriously stop doing youtube for all of this well that's definitely not the case when i had 32 gigabytes of ram i don't think my computer has don't talk about 24 gigabytes i don't think it's even passed 20 gigabytes even once and since the machine thinks that you have less RAM, it'll do less processing without your permission, so, which means really, it won't even pass the 15 gigabyte line. Maybe it will though. I think you can fill an entire GTA 5 game in the 15 gigabyte hard drive. Will it? <laughs> so what I'm trying to say that is I don't need that much RAM. In fact, I could have just ordered 16 gigabytes of RAM, that'd be cheaper. And the biggest issue with less RAM is because, no, not because I get to get less apps open. Let me explain. So the day after my RAM chip was removed, I tried to make a video. I opened up Wondershare Filmora and I was given a big surprise with this error message. Yes, it basically told that my machine configurations were incorrect. And since my copy of Filmora is only for one computer, it's basically thought that I got a new PC, so it wouldn't let me into the app. So I had to go talk to the Wondershare people and see if they could figure out what the freak happened. And they asked me about my machine configurations and stuff, and, and it was basically a one hour live chat with these dudes. And at the end, they believed me since the rest of my components on my computer were correct and so they gave me another copy of Wondershare Filmora. So I opened up Filmora, created my cringy Oscar II intro. Here's what it looked like. 
Dude, if you're gonna take my phone, at least give me another source of entertainment. Well, I gave you an iPad. You just never put that on your eye. Why didn't you put it on your eye? It's gonna be such great entertainment. Why the hell would I ever put a woman's essentials up my eye? What are you? What? what are you freaking retarded? No, I'm not retarded, but you are. Freaking five-year-old comebacks. No, oh, good freaking uh, So yeah, that was basically what happened. And it was pretty dang. So I created my pre-intro, put my intro and intro song in, as well as my intro text. And then I opened up XSplit and to record my screen. And the exact same thing that happened to Phil Mora happened to XSplit. <sighs> Here you go. So at that point of time, you know what, I, I was just done with YouTube and I quit YouTube for about a month. And only recently did I become brave enough to spend another hour talking with the XSplit people. So yeah, that's basically what happened and everything's fixed now and you know what, since I have my school holiday soon, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two videos a day from the 12th of December all the way to the 25th of January. Yes, that's right. That will be 90 videos throughout the entire term. I think anyway, it might be 88 or 92, I know. And yes, I know when I have like, I upload very freaking videos, I'll often get like videos like undone and stuff. But I created a way to make sure that this will reduce the chance of this happening. For every day that I don't upload, I have to do a punishment. Like, I don't know, go outside and dress out naked. No, that'll probably not be it. But like, I'll just do a punch. You know what? I'll explain it in a future video. But just for now, I'm just telling you guys, alright? Also guys, you may or may not have realized, but something has changed in this video that hasn't been changed, I think, throughout the entire history of Mighty Eagle 073 and Mighty Eagle 73 and the videos before. You can see that this background may be a little bit different for you, some of you guys, or... Some of you guys might think that this is more high definition, or you guys have probably realized a bit brighter video. I don't freaking know. I don't know you guys what you guys might have thought of my videos, but here's basically what happened, all right? I have a lamp placed above my head right now. I'm just going to show you right now what it looks like. Let me just get this webcam out of here. Oh, good freaking lord. So, oh my goodness, my webcam's stuck. Gosh. <sighs> Let me get away up fixing this. Alright, so guys, I think this is a pretty good explanation right over here. So, oh my god. Oh, my webcam's still stuck. So, oh my god. Alright guys, I think I've been giving you a bit angle up here. So, basically what's going on is, you see this lamp over right here? This lamp is pretty much producing, like, light up into here. And, yeah, that's basically what happens. And, I'm just gonna explain what the benefits of this does. Yes, brighter video. Let me just bring it back on. I'll explain later. So the webcam that I'm currently using right now, which is the Logitech C920, actually, it actually applies to every single webcam out on the market. If the webcam is exposed to more light, it means that it creates more quality. So, it's like, higher quality. Well, not, like, higher resolution. It captures 1080p no matter what you do. But it'll get the color more accurate. So leave a comment down in the comment section below whether you think that uh, this is worth it because... I have to deal with this and every time I look up, I pretty much get blinded. Um, so you guys tell me if this is worth putting up on my gel. And uh, I see if I put this up later on. I don't know. You guys tell me. Anyways guys, this is it for the video. Hope you guys have all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you guys all in my next video. I guess. Bye. What guys, you guys have just found a hidden mystery at this very end of this video. The middle of the outro is where my loyalist fans quit on my videos. So maybe even a loyalist fan, which I'm, I'm not gonna say to protect the identity. So what I'm gonna basically do is uh, I'm gonna give away what one of you dudes watching this section right now. $20 iTunes gift card or a $20 Google Play card. If you want to participate in this giveaway, so if you want to participate, go on either Twitter or Instagram and text me something like, I know, full thrust, or 69 is a lucky number.
Oh, I don't freaking know. So all you need to do to participate in this giveaway, which is actually pretty likely because most of you guys quit out on my videos during, like, before even the outro, mate, like, like, not my verbal outro, but like, oh, I don't even know how to describe this. So all you need to do to participate in this giveaway is, uh, send me a DM on either Twitter or Instagram, your choice, I can't control you, and text full thrust if you want a Google Play card, or... 69 is a lucky number if you want an iTunes gift card. <laughs> oh, good freaking lord, I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, you have a very high chance of winning. Come on, I only have 34 subscribers. How many of them will actually watch until the end? So guys, just give it a go. The giveaway ends in 168 hours after I upload this video, which is exactly a week. And if you guys are not chosen or if the giveaway ended, don't get upset. I'll be doing giveaways once I reach subscriber milestones. I'll be doing my first one at 50. And yeah, text full thrust if you want a Google Play card or 69 is a lucky number if you want an iTunes gift card. So yeah, anyways, congratulations for finding this Easter egg. And look forward to my 50 subscriber special where I'll be giving away my $20 Steam gift card. So, yeah, have a great day guys. Just bye.